Hello, hello. All right, take me home, achievement unlocked. Yeah. <clears throat> Mr. and Mrs. Martin greeted us at the front porch. Mr. Martin led us down the stairs to the basement, explaining that Amy was down there in restraints. I felt for him. There was guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in the very back of the attic in a chair, perfectly calm, staring at us. It is hard to describe the look on her face. It was not the kind of look a child gives you. Spooky spooky. Let's mess around with everything in the house. Just like an adventure game. You gotta touch everything. Touch it. Touch it with your face. Everything's gotta be touched like this. Yeah. Look at that happy family. With that crooked face of a daughter. Oh yeah, that's face only a mother, human mother could love. And me, I would just eat her face off. Oh, it'd be delicious. Just, oh god, just imagine the screams she'd be making while I tear off her face. I'd start with the eyes. They're the juiciest, you know that. Can I, uh, exercise the rug? This rug is hideous. Everything went silent, and it's kind of unsettling. Because now I gotta be, like, the sound in this quiet house. What's this? I see something golden sticking out of the tower. I don't want to step in the grate, though. That looks spooky. Yeah, I did it. Oh, look at all that text. I don't feel safe in my own home anymore. I hear voices outside around the house at night. I don't let the twins go out in the woods to play become... Because I'm afraid of what's out there. The house itself feels stressed, distorted. That stupid bitch. Houses don't have feelings. What do you think this is, Amityville? It's like I'm away walking through a carnival funhouse. Amy's condition has only gotten worse. I can't stand to be around her, and I don't know why. I find that the phone stops working throughout the day, and now I can't seem to find my car keys. Thank God Bob comes home tomorrow. What happened to Bob? That's the real question. All right, let's exercise the toilet of those poopy demons. All right, nope. All right, what about this? We got the faucets here. We got, ooh, his and hers faucets. This is like, uh, I want to see if there's other things we got to get. Like this, whatever this is. Is that like a cat figurine? <clears throat> Bob must be stationed somewhere in the Middle East because he sent over this weird looking doll for Amy's birthday. I'll ask Amish about it next time we have book club. She looks like she could be from over there. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, you think she'd go okay? Well, f that's fine. <laughs> Amy didn't seem excited to see the doll. I think she would rather have a phone instead. Or maybe seeing a baby doll makes her feel self-conscious about working at the clinic. Like when I first met her downstairs, we spoke briefly, although it was frustrating to talk to her or it. I experienced a bit of deception from the demon. During our conversation, she uttered my mother's first name, and in other instances spoke perfect Latin. Was it something along the lines of, uh, your mother sucks cocks in hell? I called her for help from the others, but nobody came, so I raised my crucifix and it began the rite again. Spooky spooky. Oh no. Oh no, we're not doing this. Toy room? One of these toys has to have a demon in it. One of these toys must be demonic. Oh, is it the Simon Says? Look at that, you got a little Simon Says there. Alright, we can tell this is definitely the 80s. Extra sketch. The little ball poppy thing. Voltron. He-Man. G.I. Joe. Thundercats. Those things existed. A map of the... The entire world that was created 3,000 years ago, according to this stupid fuck. Oh, isn't that a lovely picture? I, I, I don't know how you managed to do it, but just simple pixels making something that looks very disturbing. Congratulations, Nate. You should be very proud of yourself. All right, looks like we made stroll circle. Let's go in the play room. Bloody room, bloody room, bloody room. Blood. I love my uh, some good old fashioned blood. 
Lick it all up. Oh, I can't get in there. Need all this fucking work and I can't get in the bloody room. Fuck you, game. Useless Catholic piece of shit. Actually, no, actually. Actually, let's go back. No, no, okay, we'll go to the basement. We'll go to the basement. Oh, wait, actually, no, wait, no, wait. There might be one more thing. No, 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 we'll go, we'll go to the basement. We'll, 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 no, wait. No, 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 basement, basement, basement. All right, we got a mannequin, some other toys, a uh, bunch of boxes blocking my view, or blocking my path, I should say. Really? You weak little shit, you can't move some boxes out of your way? Useless Catholic piece of shit. Boy touching fuckity fuck. All right, uh, hello, what about the sheets? Got a crib? Yeah, we exercise or whatever this is. Dear Amy, thanks for writing. It really brightened my day hearing from you. In your letter, you asked what's the weirdest thing I've seen as a missionary. The area we are working in has a lot of folks who practice Quimbamba. It's what you might call a pagan religion. Oh yes, the fucking pagans. We wouldn't want any other religion other than our own existing. It's kind of a mix of Catholic and African religions. One of the saints they worship is San Lai Muret. Muret? Mate? Or Saint Death. Yesterday we talked to a boy about is. About is? About it. When we asked him if he had ever prayed, he said, No. But I have prayed to San La Muret. He, found, he told us about the time when he stayed over at his cousin's house and, oh, this is going to get graphic, isn't it? And according to him, they prayed to some figures of Sanlet Murat, Murat, and the figures made things in the house move around. He got real quiet and scared looking after that. We told him he could pray to God, and that God wouldn't make him feel scared like that. Huh, that's what you think, until you realize that you're going to go to hell. You're going to go to hell. Doesn't matter what you do, you think your bad thoughts, you're going to go to hell. We invited him to church, but he hasn't come yet. Well, why would he go to church? Do you know what goes on in your churches? Are you very much aware of what has been going on in your churches since the dawn of the Catholic Church? It's just, it's so mind-boggling to me. The, the, the story of the church and the Catholics and the boys, it's a story that keeps breaking. I mean, there was actually a movie all about that sort of thing in the 90s, early 90s. The Boys of St. Vincent or whatever. Gotta check that shit out. It's even free on YouTube. Anyways, I need, I need to wrap this letter up and get back to work. See you in four months, Leighton. Alright, what else? We got a leaky, leaky basement. Leaky, leaky basement. Leaky, 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 like my butt and a Saturday night. Leaky. Amy's parents could not endure the witnessing the proceedings of the rite for lawn. Miss Martin was hysterical, and the thing that was inside Amy was feeding off the fear. Father Allard asked me to take the Martins upstairs. I was physically worn out, but managed to get them back up the stairs into the kitchen. Amy was screaming, Mother! Mother! The whole time. I'm sure that's how she sounded, too. Finally, I got them to sit down with me at the kitchen table. After a few minutes, we couldn't hear much of anything down in the basement, so I went down to check on things. I found Father Allard lying on his back unconscious with his arms spread out wide. Amy was not in the chair. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. It's like we got ourselves a demon. Demon. Yeah, demon. Fuck the demons. I'm a weasel and if you're not already subscribed you should be to this channel as well as checking out Crafty Arts where that weird old Crafty Amy's making artwork about media and entertainment and commentating. There's also a Weird Source channel if you want to see furries out there that 
not as quite as sexy as I am, but they're there if you want to see them and subscribe to them there. And we also have our live shows at Pause Off Live at Twitch.tv. And if you really, really like everything that's going on here, there's also Patreon. $2 a month, and you get access to artwork and early videos. And if you want to join our Discord, it's under the Horny JL Alliance team. Check it all out. That's it. I'm a weasel. Now get the hell out of here. <laughs>